What is going on all your people? Welcome back to the channel guys. I know it's been a while, but I'm about to explain all that to you right now, along with the story. Now this story involves my first ever white-tailed deer that I got finally this year. And that deer's name is Loki. Loki is an 11 point mature white-tailed buck that has given me the slip since last year. But I think in order to tell this story to y'all the proper way, I want to start at the very beginning, back in 2020 last year when this story all started. I've decided I am going to leave this game camera right here so I can watch the cinder block. I mean the uh, mineral block, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean. That is so janky, but it will. As long as it can see. That's all that matters. So, I'm going to throw some corn down right here. Right here underneath the block. Get all these branches and crap out of the way. Not that much. That'd be good. Right there, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Now, now we're now we're doing good. And then we're gonna get this game camera right here. And we're gonna take it over there. So come here. So I started putting out cameras in corn last year. Got a few hogs, you know, no deer though. No sign of a nice big buck until this year. Fast forward a little bit more, two weeks down the road, still no sign of him at this spot. And then I remember it like it was yesterday. I walked down to the creek. I checked my other camera right where we just put up another feeder in a, in a mineral block. And I look and there he is. 11 points, huge plain as day. He bedded down right in front of the camera and he stayed there for around two to three hours just sitting there. He bedded down and I had over like 80 photos of just him and guys, he was absolutely beautiful. All right, we're coming over here to uh, spot number two over next to the creek. Looks like there's a lot of action all this grass has moved up and around. I know it's really hard to tell on camera, but it is. There's corn moved everywhere. That block looks a little wet and it hasn't rained. Not yet anyway, so. All right, let's go over and check the camera. Look at that. Something's definitely over here. Definitely. I'm gonna come over here and check the camera. Good Lord, look at all this over here too, guys. Look, it's all moved out of the way. I'm really, really hoping these are deer and not those freaking group of like eight raccoons that are out here. It's ridiculous. There are so many raccoons. Might have to do some, uh, what is it called? Raccoon uh, management out here in the forest. Let's check the camera real quick. All right, finally got all that done. Made sure the deer feeder was still good, still halfway full of corn. Made sure to spray out some of this uh, doe and estrus spray, cover my tracks, and also to bring in that big buck again. He was bedded down at that camera for it looked like about two hours. He just sat there, he ate the corn, he licked the block, and he just laid right in front of that camera. And I'll make sure to show some of those pictures in there. Absolutely insane, nice point buck. Nice, it looks like he's about eight, seven or eight. It's really hard to tell with those, you know, cheap game cameras you know everything's done put the tree stand up the old old tree stand that probably shouldn't be used anymore but we're gonna use it anyway oh, man. this stuff smells horrible it is so so musty but anyway we're gonna be back here Friday and make sure everything's good to go and then Saturday morning we'll wake up probably about five o'clock in the morning and come out here get in the stands get in the blinds all 11 points of them, just gorgeous young, young buck. Oh, just huge rack, it was just amazing. 
And I remember seeing that and I was like, oh, we're never gonna get this guy. Cause the pictures I had for him were at nighttime. And you know, a few weeks after that, all the photos I had of Loki were all at night. I cannot get this guy during the day until fast forward a little bit more, October 17th, got him. 12 o'clock noon, beautiful. I can finally see everything on him. Gorgeous, 11 points, dark, dark rack, just a beautiful, beautiful buck. And now that I know he's coming out during the day, I know that I might have a chance. But I'm sorry, I mean, let me try to turn that. There it is, there it is, there he is. Look how many points he has. Golly. He is a nice looking buck. Really nice. When he came back, he was just out here an hour ago. That is insane. And I've been trying, sorry, messing with my phone and trying to do this with one hand, but I've been trying to get out here in the morning for about a week now. I finally did it. I, I, I reset the timer on the feeder for the morning time, mid-afternoon. So he's finally coming out here. Looks like he came in through this back trail over here. So I finally got the ground blind set up and I don't know if it's just mine or maybe this is a two person job because this thing is a pain in the butt to do by yourself. Let me get out of that sun, that is killing me. But yeah, here it is, let me show y'all. This is the ground blind. I kind of have it under this tree. I'm gonna put some sticks and stuff around it, maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, there's the blind. This is the Rhino 200. This is not the see-through one, unfortunately, because Walmart did not have that. But Walmart had this one for $90, which I thought was a steal. So I got it, have it staked down so the wind doesn't blow, because we've been having some pretty crazy wind here lately. And then there's the inside. Hold on. There you go, here's the inside, so you can see. Got my little camera stand right there, my camera bag, my seat, my jacket. But, yeah, Rhino 200, not a bad blind, I really, really like it, it's, uh, I mean, what, what do you say about a blind, it has plenty of op openings for my gun so I can shoot a deer, and uh, it blocks wind, and uh, it hides me, checks off everything you need to know about a blind, <laughs> so uh, it does all that, and, you know, again, $90, can't beat it. It does exactly what I need it to do, and that is hide me. But I have it right here, again, on this pipeline clearing. It is completely clear the entire way back. So, I have a really good feeling about this spot, guys. Okay, so, eight o'clock in the morning, I make it out to the deer blind. I'm sitting there, tires can be, Slim Jim in one head, Red Bull in the other. But I have a feeling, you know, today's gonna be the day we just had a cold front the night before. The weather is nice, the wind's not too bad. You know, today's gonna be the day it happens. And sure enough, within two hours of being out there, I saw that little four point, and he, he had some he had some hops. On, I'm gonna give him that. I guess uh, the wind swirled and he got a scent of me, or maybe I accidentally hit the blind and made a sound. But he detected on me pretty quick, and he booked it straight down the pipeline clearing. Right towards this way, so I accidentally hit the 
at me. Then he ran, and then he right looked at me again, just like to, I guess, make sure I was really there. And then he ran off again, straight, <clears throat> straight down the clearing on the pipeline. That was really, really cool. Just saw that doe that's been hanging out for a while now. She came out right from the other side of the field on the other field over there. She came right her out, stopped, looked at me, and I was about to shoot her. I really was. And I got my sights on her. And as soon as I clicked that safety up, she continued walking and didn't stop all the way into the woods. So I didn't get a clean shot on her. And that was very exciting. <laughs> when I when I finally told myself I might take this shot, I started shaking because she she's an old doe. She's been out here for a while now on this property. So they said it would be okay to take her out because she's been here for, I think, over three, four years now is what they said. So that, that would have been a nice shot. But I have a feeling that something bigger might be coming our way today. So fingers crossed. All right. Nothing this morning. So I'm heading back up to the house to have a possibly fried bologna sandwich with Monterey Jack cheese. Oh, that sounds good. I don't know, I'm just hungry. I didn't have a breakfast this morning. I had like a Slim Jim and that was it. And a Red Bull. <laughs> but I am starving, so I'm about to head back up to the house and uh, have some lunch and just uh, relax. And then I'm gonna come back out in about two hours and uh, pick this back up for the afternoon hunt. So, wish me luck, guys. And I came back out here, it was about two o'clock, and not an hour later, I hear what sounds like squirrels right next to me, and they're like going crazy. They're fighting, they're fighting, and all of a sudden it starts moving up, moving up, moving up. All right, guys, so, there's something right next to me over here on this grass line. I don't know if you can see, but it's right here. And it shoots all the way down this pipeline, and there's something in the grass, in the leaves over here. It sounds like squirrels biting, but I can't see anything. I just hear the leaves, and now it's stopped. But there's something over here right now. There's something over here. I was like, that's not squirrels. And I reached over, I touched the camera, and I could have swore I pressed record, but I didn't. And there he is. Loki steps out of the grass, huge as can be, antlers humongous. And I put my scope on him, and I count 11 points, and I pull the trigger right behind the shoulder, and it was a long shot. And I guess it didn't go all the way through, the bullet didn't. And I guess what happened was that bullet went in, punctured one lung, and blew up in the chest cavity. But it was just an awesome shot. Uh, he didn't suffer at all. He ran maybe 15 yards and then collapsed. And I got that photo, I got that video right here for y'all. And y'all are gonna really enjoy this because I just freak out after the shot. I can't believe it actually happened. It felt, it felt like a dream. It wasn't real. But let me run that clip for y'all right now. He's going down. He's going down. I got him. I got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. I got him. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh my god. Guys. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Guys, we finally got him. Look at that rack. This is another 10 point. When I first saw him, I thought he was the perfect 10 that we had on camera, but after further inspection, I don't think he is. I'll have to look closer at the footage and the uh, photos we have of the perfect 10 later, but he is a 10 point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. He was an 11 right here. Another time broke off. But guys, I've been out here all day. I was out here since seven o'clock this morning. I saw a nice doe, I saw a nice four point buck walk through, let them all go. And then I came back out this afternoon after going up and eating some lunch, using the bathroom and coming back out. And 
I thought it was a group of squirrels fighting in the brush right next to me because this deer didn't go 10 yards, guys. The feeder and the blind are right there. He came right out and didn't even know. But I thought it was a group of squirrels fighting. And then all of a sudden I started hearing this scraping up against trees and stuff. I was like, That's, that can't be squirrels, that can't be squirrels. And then all of a sudden, this guy walks out from behind the trees and all I see is rack. So the first thing I do, I don't even press play or press record on the camera. First thing I do is line up my sots on this guy because I did not want to lose him today. I came out here with the entire goal of shooting me the 10 point buck today. And even though I don't think he is the 10 we have on the video camera or the game cameras, it is still fine. He is still a beautiful legal buck. Huge, huge boy. Um, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful deer. <sighs> First deer ever. <laughs> I almost feel a little sad to say that because I'm, at, I mean, I'm on 20. Yeah, sorry. I can't even pronounce words, I'm so excited right now, but I'm 28 years old and this is my first ever white-tailed deer that I've personally shot. Seen plenty of them, been around plenty of them, have friends that shot them, but I've never shot my own. So this year I set out with a goal to set up cameras, set up feeders and everything and kill this deer. And guys, I can honestly say that I, I did it. I actually did it. I went through, I put in the time, I put in the effort, I came out here, put in the hours, the early mornings, because I work night shift. I get off at two o'clock in the morning. I was out here at seven o'clock. So if that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know what will, but he is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buck. <sighs> Thank y'all so much. <sighs> oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank this deer enough. I can't thank. It's really just a moment. It really is. Such a beautiful animal. But anyway, guys, I think I spent enough time out here looking at him. I think it's time to get the dirty work done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, now the fun part begins. This thing is heavy. Oh, I need to get a wagon. I need to get a wagon or wheelbarrow or something. Just, ooh, it's heavy. But that is the story of Loki. Right now, he is getting shoulder mounted, and I should probably be getting that in March, so I can't wait. It's, it's just gonna be beautiful. I can't wait to have that piece of him with me and that memory of my first whitetail buck ever. It's just great. It's just an absolute great feeling, but I really 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 hope y'all enjoyed this story I just had to tell it this is the reason why I haven't posted anything in a while is because I've been putting all my time and effort into tracking this buck And I have finally got him but guys. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching Hope y'all have a great day. And I'll catch y'all in the next one y'all keep it real peace by the way if you like these hunting videos, please let me know in the comments below because I might have an addiction to this now. So if y'all want to fuel that addiction, leave a comment. Catch y'all later.